Yo, what up, Face Off Battle League? Mike Turpin here. What up? Hey, uh, I didn't have time to get my flip cam out. I'm just using my cell phone. I wanted to record a quick vlog. I don't know how quick it'll be, but about uh, Monkey Man and Mike Main. I had some opinions on that, and I wanted to say what I thought a little bit and talk about the, the night in general to a degree, but especially cover that battle. Um, man, you know, so for those of you who, who don't know and are kind of like, trying to figure it out and put the pieces together, what happened. I'm not going to get too specific in the beginning of the night, the first incident with uh, Monkey Man, because I'm not really, you know, too sure. I don't know the, the dude from Pit Fights too well. Um, you know, my opinion is that if you expect anything different, if you expect Monkey Man to act anything other than the way he has acted at previous battles, um, the way he, you know, types online, if you don't like the fact that he sends you messages in character, that's cool, man. You don't have to like him, you know. He'll do he'll do his thing, and you can do yours. And, and his goal is to do well. And if you think he sucks, then then so be it. You know, there are people out there who think joke rappers suck, but they're not out there. You know, well, some are, but they shouldn't be out there just like punching people just because they're not what they consider battle rap. Um, and at the end of the day, if you're in a battle with somebody like Mike May, and let's say you're in a battle with Monkey Man, and, and you know, you're trying to get to the top of this league, and, and you care about the points, hey, you should be happy to battle a dude that doesn't care about winning, because all you have to do is go out there and spit your bars, and you'll probably get a 2-0, it's an easy two points, basically, and uh, I think that that's kind of what pissed Mike off, but but uh, I'll, I'll get to that, so here's what happened, Mike Main is claiming that the reason he got really pissed at Monkey Man is A, because Monkey posted photos on Mike's timeline, you know. Well, immediately, if that was the issue, you could have messaged this dude, hey, I'm defriending you, don't like that, I don't like that shit, I, my friends aren't into this, I've got like family members on here, they don't know what's up, you know, I'm not too cool with the whole you calling me gay stuff in front of my family. To me, that wouldn't bother me, but hey, everybody everybody has their own thing, they have their own things that piss them off, and at the end of the day, that is your Facebook or whatever, so if that's what actually got you bent out of shape, could have defriended the dude, could have blocked him, could have done anything like that, um, hit all of his posts from your timeline immediately, I mean, you're on, dude, you're on your, you're on your Facebook all day, if you didn't want that shit there, you could have got it off immediately. Um, you could approve, you could set your Facebook, actually, Mike, you can set your Facebook so you approve posts from other people before they show up on your wall, just to let you know. Um, but, you know, if you didn't know that, obviously. Here's the thing, if that's what pissed you off, you should have shown up pissed off. You should have shown up getting in Monkey's face, you should have been a lot more pissed off, and you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have been contributing to the memes throughout. See, you were, you were, um, catering to this. You were contributing just as much to this, the whole internet meme thing with between you and him. And, and you liked it. And you were being funny and he was being funny. And maybe one, one of them pissed you off. But you were doing the same exact thing the entire time. So that right there needs to get ruled out. Because you were doing the memes. And if he did post them to your, to your timeline, you could get that shit off there right away, defriend him, and it wouldn't be a big deal. You know? So everything in the league you contributed to on your line. That's over. So on your timeline, that's over. So we can notch notch that one off right there. The other thing you didn't like was how he was doing antics and weird stuff. Well, number one, you thought it was weird that he was singing in his rounds. He said, "This is battle rap." He's singing in his rounds. Well, okay, I get that. You know, you showed up for a battle and he's doing that. But like I said before, man, do your thing, collect your points, and get the hell out of there, man. You show up. You do two rounds of normal battle rap. The judges would then like it if you act, if you presented your bars well, and uh, you know, monkey monkey would um, lose, and there'd be a battle that would get a lot of attention, and they'd be like, "Hey, Mike's doing some real shit. Monkey Man's doing this stuff that you don't like. Maybe they don't like it too. Maybe they get on your side. Maybe it gets you more fans, you know, from that battle." So. You can't control what words come out of his mouth and what he does. I mean, look at this way. What if he called you gay in the battle and it showed up on your timeline and your friends saw it just like before with he posting the pictures? So, you know, I I'm not too sure what you were getting pent out of shape out about from what you said. But I have my own opinion. See, what happened, Mike came out really strong in the first round. And I, I liked Mike, man. He, he was cool. I, I really liked hanging out with him, talking to him a minute. He was a cool guy. I, I really liked Mike, man. Um, but I'm thinking... 
Uh, first round comes out. Mike Main comes out. Guns are blazing. Heated. Gets intense. All right. So uh, Monkey Man's doing some antics. He's getting a little wild. He's getting to the audience. He ain't telling many bars at all. Maybe a couple. I mean, he's basically just trolling Mike Main. <laughs> like, talking slow like he's dumb. Just ridiculous stuff, man. I mean, doing stuff that... The, the humor of Monkey Man at times isn't even like the kind of jokes that you think are funny. It's more like trolling somebody or it's so bad it's good. Like like banana dancing and all this shit. I mean, it's not like a... It's not like clever, witty, but it, but it's, you know, taking on the character that does not have that much intellect or wit. That, that's the character, I guess. Is, is so it makes sense, but it's not like... It's not like the kind of humor where you're like, that's brilliant. You're like, that is so silly. It's insane that he's doing that. And I think that's what he plays off of. I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know the dude personally, but that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Now, Mike Main got pissed about that. But here's the thing. Mike contributed to that, too. That dude was doing push-ups Monkey Man's whole round. Now, how are you going to get pissed off about a dude squatting in a three-point stance or walking away from you while you're performing if you're going to sit there and do stupid-ass push-ups the entire time he's performing? Like, I get it, man. I get what you're doing. I, you know, maybe you think that's cool. Maybe your buddies think it's cool. I get... I, I don't think <laughs> running to the audience is cool that much either, but... But, I mean, come on, man. You're doing the same shit. That is, that is in the same category. That is disrespect of the same category. You know? So, the only thing that you have left is the fact that he sang in his battle at one point instead of uh, rhyming. My theory, the reason... that He's done that every battle. You knew that coming into it. You knew that. Don't get that bent out of shape. Here's what happened. Here is why Mike Main got pissed off. It's because he went out there in the second round, fucked up his lines, and now he winds up in overtime with a dude that he should have wiped the floor with. I mean, seriously, he had some good bars. I mean, Monkey Man wasn't even trying to win, and now Monkey was in a position to win that battle. That's what happened, and, and I think that really pissed Mike off. So, uh, you know... Then, Guy Grams, that motherfucker, Guy Grams, okay, little backstory on Guy Grams judging, this came later, but, or no, I don't know if it came later before, I guess this was the next battle, uh, Ammo to Savage against um, Naps, which was amazing, man, Na Naps was, was really good, what I'm about to say might make it sound like Naps wasn't as good, but that dude was great, like, like, I was watching that battle, and that was one of those moments where it's like, I thought I came with some good shit, and I was watching that, and I'm like, damn, none of my bars were on par with what the hell these guys brought. Like, they, they were, that was good stuff. I'd seen both of them before not do well, and I've seen, you know, both of them do pretty well. I'd never seen Naps do that well. I've seen Ammo do really well, but they were on some next level shit compared to the rest of us, you know, for the most part. There were a couple people, like I'd say, like Unanimous and Guy Grams, when they weren't fucking up their lines, they were, their bars were another level. I would say a lot of the stuff Phenom said was in that category. You know, th those were the best bars of the evening. But Guy Grams is judging Naps versus Ammo. And uh, so he gets, gets to the end of the, of the second round and he goes, ah, Naps won, man. This shit was more consistent and tighter. And uh, then somebody goes, which round? He goes, I don't, I don't know, you know. Uh, and then he, it turns out, he goes, I didn't know it could go to OT. Like, I didn't know I could judge for it to go to OT. He didn't know that it was supposed to be judging round by round. Now, not only is this guy a judge in face-off, I get if it was his first time judging and he maybe got thrown in because somebody else couldn't make it. Or, or, you know, because somebody else, you know, nobody else qualified could do it and they didn't have time to show him the rules because we're running late. But this is a dude who's a former face-off champion and he didn't know that he could say, I think it was one round to one, let's go to OT. This is, this is the reason face-off needs to get judge, judging in round by round. They need to, at round one, someone needs to collect the scores from the judges. Whether or not they announce it, that's fine. But someone needs to collect the judging from round one and round two separately so we get a better idea, as opposed to just being like, well, it was close, let's go to round three. No, who won round one, who won round two? If it's one-to-one, -one, OT. If it's, I don't care if it's two razor-thin rounds. If you had the same guy winning both, that's, that's not OT. 
And that's any other judging event. That's any other judging event. Round to round. They either need to write that shit down. They need to, someone needs to collect the scores. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm new to this. I could be way off. Hey, if, if you never do it, cool. I'm still going to be fucking competing in this shit. That's just my opinion on what the best way to do it is. It makes the most sense after seeing these judges don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Someone needs to hold their hands to this shit. So Guy Grahams goes, after my, I don't care who you are. Mike Main won round one. Do I think it's hilarious that a judge picked Monkey Man to win round one? Um, absolutely. I like it. It's fucking hysterical. But is it ridiculous? Yes. How the fuck did Guy Graham say that this thing needed to go to O? I mean, to, no, no. He said Monkey Man, period. He didn't say OT. He said... Monkey Man because he entertained me more. Now, I get that, dude. You can be like, Monkey Man entertained me 50 times more. You know, you can say you didn't like any, you know, the bars by Mike Man that much. But you're judging for rap battling, and the criteria is more than just entertainment. <laughs> I mean, I, I love Monkey Man. And look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I'm consider myself a friend of the monk. I, I love his shit. I enjoy it. You know, last night might not have been my favorite performance by him, but he had a lot of shit going on. There was a lot of weird stuff happening. But... You know, I don't even care if I, I, I enjoy the idea of like crazy antics and, uh, you know, Mike, um, so, but Mike won round one, fact. Guy Grams goes, um, I'm going to give it to Monkey because he was more entertaining. People are like, what? He probably f fucking forgot that it could go to OT or if the, I don't forget the order. Maybe he didn't know then yet either. So he just saw that Monkey won round two because Mike main fucked up. See, that's what happened. I can relate. Hey, I was in a position to win my battle if all I had to do was get through my third round because Proof messed up his overtime round. But I messed up too, so I understand being pissed at yourself, dude. Like, I fucked that up. Just so I understand, you're like, this battle's in, that battle was in your hands and you fucked it up. Like, I get that, man. I'm, you know, I understand. But, uh, you know, I, so round three comes out, Monkey's doing his antics, and uh, Mike Main's dropping his bars, not doing that well, and... You know, getting getting pissed and uh, takes his takes his mask off, and yep, that was that was it. Got disqualified, threw a big uh, temper tantrum, and uh, you know, like I said, look, man, that I, I liked Mike Maine. I still like Mike Maine. You know, get a little worked up though. Maybe he was a little drunk. Probably wasn't ready to battle, but that dude did what he did because he was pissed off that he fucked up round two. And that Guy Grahams thought Monkey won both rounds. <laughs> that pissed him off. And if he blames it on the antics, your ass was contributing too. That fucking push-up shit. Look, look, I'm sure some people enjoyed that too, but it was in the same category as Monkey getting down in a four-point, you know, three-point stance or something, or in the monkey stance or whatever the <laughs> fucking monkey stance. But <laughs> whatever the hell he was doing. Same damn thing, okay? Um... You know, so I, I don't know. He got he got really carried away now. You know, personally, he's getting really carried away with this whole with the whole gay thing too. Um, I don't know. Something that's always made me a little weary about about the the battle rap thing is how homophobic a lot of it is. Like I'm okay. I've started to become okay with the fact that when you're 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 in the middle of a battle, making a joke about somebody doing something gay. Um, I kind of understand that if it fits and it's like witty and all that, like I'm, I'm okay with that, but like, man, to be that bent out of shape, like this is a dude, you're going up against people who are talking about murdering you, like literally like killing you, having sex with your girl, talking shit on your kids, saying that you should have been aborted, talking about like killing you, crazy shit. And you're going to get bent out of shape because a dude says that you're a little gay. Look, I'm going to be honest, man. That is some really weird insecurity with your sexuality. I'm just, that is, that is the truth. I don't know. Look, and again, now I'm now here. I am saying homophobic stuff. Now I'm going to say something that's a little racial. I know it. I know it's stereotypically a little different in the black community than the white community when you start joking around about gay stuff. But dude, it's 2014, man. Like him pasting your pasting your face on a photo that looks a little gay is not is not the end of the world. 
And uh, it's not nearly as bad as a lot of the shit that gets said and done in rap battle community. And it definitely is nowhere near enough for you to get pissed off to pull off a mask. And if, you, if it was, you should have done that shit the second you showed up. Because that would have meant that you were pissed off about what happened online. You showed up and you were pissed and you did that shit. But nah, you were acting cool with the dude. You were acting fine until you fucked up your lines. Until you fucked up all, all your damn lines in the second round, and then it had to go to OT, and you weren't prepared for that either. Or maybe you were, and then you got drunk, or, or slipping your lines, or you got in your head. I mean, I know what that's like, you know? I, I thought there was no way I was going to drop my bars. But for whatever reason, dude, you could have been prepared as shit. You were dropping your bars, and it was going to keep happening, and you were on your way to potentially losing round three, losing a battle, and you were like, fuck this, and you were pissed, man. He got in your damn head. He got in your damn head with his lines, he got in your damn head with his antics, and he made you contribute to the antics, and you thought you were going to put him in his place, and you didn't, and he was about to wind up leaving that battle, battle actually defeating you, and that pissed you off, man, and, and you, you know, it's like when an NBA player gets pissed off that they're losing, and they punch another dude, or any sports player, you know, in football, that kind of shit happens, like weird antics when you're losing a game. That's what happened, man. It was nothing pregame. Nothing pregame. You guys were more than friendly leading up to it. Absolutely. I saw you guys outside. You guys were more than friendly, and you were having a good time, man. You were being chill as shit and funny and having a hell of a time outside, and you got bent out of shape, and now you can't own up to it, man. And I like you. I really do. I don't know you that well, but you seem like a great dude. But you're really getting a little stubborn about this shit, and uh, you really let mon Monkey get in your head. Um, you know, look. Guys, everybody, Monkey is going to be who the hell he has been in his battles when you see him. Don't expect him to break fucking character just to say, Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, Codes? How's it going, man? All right, man, I'm going to get back to acting like a monkey now. No, he's in character. If you don't fucking like it, don't talk to him. Don't acknowledge him. Whatever the hell, you do your thing. But don't, don't get in the way of what the hell he's doing. Because he's doing a thing that got booked for a battle. Your league wanted that. They, they were into the idea of, of bringing this into their room. And if you don't like it, don't go to their room. You know, that, that's what I think. So, all right. This is long enough. I'm sure nobody made it to the end. It's been 17 minutes. So, all right. I'm out. Uh, oh, real quick recap. Uh, yeah, like I said, I really liked Unanimous' bars, man. Oh, I didn't know who the hell he was, but that was really good. Phenom stepped up big. Uno kind of fell apart a little bit later, but he was still pretty good, but no, nothing like next level, like, you know, like people thought might happen. Um, ammo, man, round two, fucking horror bars, round three, wrestling bars, good shit. Um, oh, that was the other thing about Guy Grams. He says that it was going to go to OT, or no, when it got decided to go to OT, he's running out. I said, and I, I said, dude, you got to go up there and judge round three. He goes, oh, shit, really? And then he stood in the audience. And asked his buddy, he goes, man, did Nas win that? I thought Nas won. And his buddy goes, nah, man, that should have at least went to OT. He goes, oh, fuck, I don't know. And then after the battle, he goes, oh, man, who won that? Is Ammo winning that? Like, he didn't know. He asked his buddy, you know. I don't know. <laughs> it was fucking wild. That, he probably shouldn't judge again. I love this shit. Probably should not judge again. Or maybe get fucked up before judging. All right, I'm out. Bye.